Welcome to Sinchus. Today many researchers and makers of various industries are performing big computing jobs and projects with various high-end applications on high-performance computing system. But, they need extra specific HPC power to complete these jobs on time. While considering HPC the total cost of ownership of HPC is a very significant aspect. Let's understand the framework to identify costs with these main three stages. The first stage is the usage pattern of HPC systems in various aspects. The second is the identify expense items, that are tangible and intangible items. And the last stage is calculating TCO that is the total cost of ownership. Stage first usage pattern. This graph will help you to understand the usage of the HPC system at various periods and the blue line indicates the actual power of the HPC system. And this second graph indicates the usage of data storage. Data storage will also get increases with a time period. Now, as stage 2 and stage 3 are very much dependable on each other, so let's understand it jointly. First, we will see the expense items of on-premise HPC. CAPEX and OPEX are the two aspects of tangible items. Consider an example with 256 CPU plus GPU system with all required elements including their installation. Adjusted monthly expense with an adjusted risk rate is a part of calculating TCO. With the help of this equation, we can calculate the adjusted monthly expense of the system. The risk adjusted rate is depending on the possibility of risks of an investment in projects. As we have already considered an example let's put the required values in the equation by considering the risk adjusted rate of 10% per annum and we will get the adjusted monthly expense. We can also check out the other examples with different time periods at different risk adjusted rates. After the capital expenditure, let's check out the operational expenditure. First is the electric powder consumption of the HPC system. Second is AMC that is annual maintenance cost and patch management of the system. Third is the software subscription of the HPC hosting platform. Fourth is the salary of HPC experts. Next is the real estate and HVAC cost. And the last is the downtime cost or the service cost of the system. After the infrastructure gets ready. These are the OPEX aspects of an on-premise system, which may cost you around $1,500 per month. You should calculate the core per hour price of your system with this equation. Here, adjusted monthly expense includes monthly adjusted CAPEX and monthly OPEX of the system. You can also find your average use hour of the system and it is known as actual core hours, used per month. Consider a 256 CPU plus GPU system with 100% availability. But the users are only utilizing 256 core for 240 hours in the month. That is one third of the total monthly hours. And we can find it by using this simple equation. By considering these numbers, we can calculate it. Let's get back to our core per hour price equation and put all the required values in it. After putting all the required values, we can find the core per hour price for mentioned conditions. Similarly, we can consider the same example with various parameters and also calculate the core per hour price for that. After having a discussion about tangible items, let's check out the intangible items. These are very important aspects that you must consider while procuring the on-premise HPC system. But some of the projects are very important which cannot wait for 3 to 4 months for the on-premises deployment of hardware, and teams also want to have new hardware as technology changes over time. Last but not least the downtime cost and availability of expert support can impact the overall productivity of teams. So, an organization can adopt cloud based on these intangible aspects of the business. Today many organizations from various industries are adopting this strategy of the cloud, for their agility to do business from anywhere at any time on any scale. Now, understand the expenditure and other aspects of cloud HPC infrastructure. 
These are the only aspects of Cloud HPC infrastructure's expenditure. After this complete discussion, you can compare the expenditures of on-premise HPC and Cloud HPC infrastructure. We have already calculated the core per hour price for the on-premise HPC. On the other hand, Cloud HPC is an on-demand pay-as-you-go service that could charge you around $0.06 cents per core per hour. By considering all the aspects, we can definitely say that Cloud HPC could be 60% cheaper than on-premise HPC at some conditions. Users can run any high-end applications on the Cloud HPC infrastructure under the highly secured connection and enterprise class security. Sensius is a team of HPC experts with multiple HPC hosting platforms including for cloud HPC infrastructure that is Sync HPC. And for more details, kindly contact us.